for today's video, I wanted to bring you my freaky deacon favorites. This is a gigantic box of the things I have been loving for July. And I know that this video is very late, so please excuse, but better late than never, right? Um, so the month of July, I was traveling almost the entire month, so everything was very crazy, but some awesome stuff happened. Some stuff is a secret project that I cannot wait to share with you, and some other stuff. Um, Cosmoprof was amazing. I'm just going to share with you what I've been loving. New York to Los Angeles to Las Vegas, all of the things that have actually gone with me on my travels as well. Um, so the first thing I guess we'll start off with is makeup, because I have acne and <laughs> I like makeup. Um, and I'll start off with some of the stuff I've been loving for my skin. So this first foundation is from Too Faced. It's called Born This Way. This was actually launched earlier this year, but I haven't picked it up until recently. I recently got this. I'm actually really obsessed. I thought it would be a little bit more dewy. It's a little bit more of a dry foundation, and for me, it's not super full coverage with like a sponge or anything, but I really do enjoy it. It is definitely long wear, and I can layer it over things. It is great for my acne. I don't know if it's broken me out. I have not used it exclusively. If you guys have tried it, please tell me. Does it break you out or not? I've pretty much been obsessed. If you've tried it, tell me what you think and let me know if you guys want a review on this. The second thing is the Bare Minerals Blemish Remedy. I've had this for a couple months now. I am literally obsessed. It's not the best at oil control, but it is amazing for my skin. My skin just feels free. It's breathable. It's very um, a good coverage. It does have a little bit of color to it, so it's not a translucent powder. It does have a little bit of coverage, but it fights acne by having... Um, uh, sulfur in it. So if you guys are interested in a review on this as well, let me know, but I've been loving this all throughout summer. That's like a summer favorite. Um, when it does come to the sweat, New York, I was there on the hottest day of the year. It was like over 100 degrees and it was humid and sticky. Something I've been enjoying is the Benefit Cosmetics Professional License to Blot. Now again, this is something that I got a little while ago, but that I've kind of been using a little bit more. Um, this is just a blotting stick. You can put it on over or underneath foundation and you can kind of just spot it on um, or you can go underneath and it's supposed to stop you from sweating and it actually does. Or I'm sorry, oiliness, and it actually does. Um, I have found a little bit of clogging in my T-zone where I apply it. I don't know if it's this or if it's the highlighter that I've recently switched to, um, but let me know if you guys want a review of this as well because it is it has pluses and minuses, but overall I am very pleased and it has been a favorite for this month because I have been sweating like a fat guy on vacation, and I can say that because I'm referencing my father. I love you, Daddy. I love you, I really, really do. <laughs> We're gonna skip from makeup for a second here. When it comes to being in the sun, I have had to protect myself, and I used to use a lot of rub-on sunscreens. I still do on my face, um, but on my body, I do like a couple more sprays. I feel like it's easier to get all over, um, and it's less greasy on my face. I'm really particular about what kind of sunscreen I put on my body. I'm just like, eh, if it's got like SPF in it, you know, it keeps me from burning up in the sun. Well, recently I've been using these um, because they are so easy to apply. These have SPF 30, and they're insect repellent sprays. Um, because it's summer, I have been enjoying being outside, um, especially in my own home. This is more of an August thing, since it is like 10 days in August, um, but there are lots of bees out here when I try to eat outside. They want to eat my food too because I cook really good food, I guess. I don't know. I thought I burned salad. I don't know. I have been loving these also because they are water resistant, so whether I'm sweating in Vegas or whether I'm swimming in Los Angeles, um, these have stayed put. So I've just put these in my check bag and been loving them. Um, the brand is called Avon Skin So Soft Bug Guard. So that's what I've been kind of throwing on there. Back to makeup, some stuff I've been loving. These are brand new from the drugstore from Ramel London. These are epic. These are like lipsticks. They're kind of like Maybelline's baby lips, but they're really just like lipsticks. Um, but these are from Rimmel um, London, and they're amazing, and they're super cute. One says, keep calm and rock on, and the other one says, keep calm and party. One is a vibrant purple lipstick. It's very, very moisturizing. This is actually what I'm wearing today. I hope you can tell. This looks like really washed out. Am I like always washed out? I need to fix this. I don't know what's going on. Um, and then the other is a very vibrant pink. Now, they don't actually come off as vibrant as they look in the tube. They come off a little bit less vibrant, but they do have wearability and they're a lot more hydrating than you would think, which is why I would compare them to a baby lips. But I've been obsessed with these. They're a couple bucks at the drugstore and they just make me smile and they want me to rock on and party on. And so that's what I'm gonna do. That's my song. I hope you like it. 
also speaking of lips, this is a color from NARS that I've been obsessing over. This is called Baby Doll. Um, I recently did a huge clean out of all of my lip glosses. I still have them. I just clean them out of my purse. And this is pretty much what has replaced them all. It is a gorgeous, slightly shimmery pink. Um, it is absolutely to die for. So I have been loving this for my travels all through August because I was traveling so much. I was like, I cannot have 50 pounds of lip gloss weighing me down. So this is my solution. When it comes to eyes, I have pretty much replaced all of my bases with this one color from NYX Cosmetics. This is really not like a new color. I've just been obsessed. It's called the Infinite Shadow Stick. It is gorgeous. It is this perfectly, oh, why can't you see it? Um, it is just this perfectly, um, I would just call it almost like a champagne color. This is great at using um, for a base for your eye color or just using as a shadow on its own if you don't have time in the morning. Um, it's a couple bucks at the drugstore and I'm loving it. And of course, some gel eyeliner. This is from Bobbi Brown. It's pre-sharpened, kind of like the Smashbox or the Ramel or whatever you get at the drugstore. But I really, really love the consistency. There's also a lot in here. Um, but this is amazing. Um, it's just a black liner, and I have been able to do wings with this like I have never done before. I use this, and I use a slightly angled brush, and I'm able to smudge it up to get a great wing. You know me. My wings are not twins or sisters. They're like second cousins from aunts, dogs, sisters ukulele band instructor twice removed like that's what my winged liner ends up looking like or my eyebrows but anyways I've been using this it's been really easy to get them even I just kind of smoke it out and then I smudge it out with a little blender brush um, with a little angled brush so this is from Bobbi Brown the color is called Black Ivy it is gorgeous and I would highly recommend you check it out at Nordstrom or wherever sells Bobbi Brown near you um, because I'm obsessed when it comes to nails, I think that I have found my favorite ever nail foundation. This is from 10 over 10 and it is called The Foundation. Um, my nails have actually been growing long and strong, which they did not do for a while. And I do like to keep them fairly short depending on how I'm feeling. Um, but these have been super, super long. I've been applying the nail foundation. It is just this little base coat from 10 over 10, which is a salon in New York City that recently started carrying their own products. So when it comes to nails, I really have not been experimenting with fun designs or anything. I've been doing a couple colors, but Really nothing too exciting, um, but I've just been loving the length and longevity just due to this base. When it comes to the skin, I have been loving the Pacifica um, little coconut wipes. I've been using these everywhere. I use them for makeup. I use them on days that I don't wear makeup, and I also use them on my armpits. Even though they're not deodorant, I just use them because we all need little wipes every now and then. Um, I've also been loving the Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Mask. Now, I picked this up years ago and I was not a super big fan of it. Literally walking in for a completely different product in Alba Botanicals product that they didn't have in stock. So I picked this up and said, I'll just try it. Salicylic acid, Yes to Tomatoes. It is 99.9% .9 natural or something like that. 98% natural, paraben free. I've been obsessing. I've loved my 100% pure mask but I did run out because I only had a little sample size. Check out my skincare video if you didn't see it um, on my travel skincare acne routine. But um, this is what I have replaced it with and I am obsessed. Yeah, this is what I have been using and found new love for. And I love the fact that it's all natural. When it comes to my hair, um, it has been a little bit tangly. I have been using a shampoo that um, really knots my hair more than it does nourish it. So this is a leave-in detangler that I have been obsessed with. It's from Claron. Um, this is a brand new one because I used up my old travel size one, so I bought um, just the brand new full size from Sephora. Um, but you just spray this in, it has oat milk in it, it gets out them tangles, even if your shampoo messed up your do. Um, so this has been good for my hair for travel and just in general. Ow, ow, my leg is numb. I just lost feeling in my leg. I was sitting on my leg and I have officially lost feeling in my leg. Ow. Time to switch to the other leg. Um, but the ones that I've personally been loving have been some butterfly ones. I just restocked. These are amazing. I've been really putting them on places that you can't see. So like right under here, underneath the shirt, um, or kind of on my back shoulder. So that way when I'm swimming, when I'm out and about like with friends, it's all good. Um, but at business meetings and stuff, you can't really tell that I'm wearing them. So I have been obsessed with these. These are from Glimmer. Um, really, really, really obsessed. They're super, super cute. So speaking of fashion, can we just talk about this shirt? Um, I have been loving really loose things with like little camisoles underneath. I think that's been really fun. Also, can we talk about my YouTube sweater? 
obsessed. Um, it was VidCon. I loved VidCon. It was epic. And I actually had the chance, um, I live very close to YouTube, and I had the chance to visit YouTube headquarters in San Bruno. So I got a YouTube certified sweater, and it makes me feel like such a nerd, and I love it because I love you. Anyways, that is what's up. Those have been my favorites. Sorry they're a couple days late, but better late than never. And um, haters gonna hate, and potatoes gonna potate, and tomatoes gonna tomate, and elevators gonna elevate, and um, all those other things that end in eight that I can't really think about because cool beans. Yeah. Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you for chilling with me. Um, let me know what other videos would be helpful or interesting to you. Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you for hanging out with me in my favorites video. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next one on Mondays and Thursdays. So mark it on your calendar. Put a little note in your phone. Click the little ding dong button on like the main YouTube page. You can like click the little ding dong button and your phone will actually alert you when I post a fabulous video. Anyways, um, love you guys, and I will see you on the ding-dong button, and um, yeah, I will see you guys all in the next video. <sighs> love you guys. Bye.